176 million women worldwide have endometriosis. This is 1 in 10 during their reproductive years, which are typically from when the period starts until menopause. Symptoms can include pain before and during periods, at ovulation, when going to the toilet, and for some, chronic pelvic pain, as well as fatigue, painful sex, and difficulty getting pregnant. Many people don't realize these are symptoms of endometriosis. This lack of awareness frequently causes a delay in getting treatment. If you have or suspect you have endometriosis, this video will help you understand what the disease is, how it is diagnosed, options for treatment, and where you can find support. Endometriosis occurs when cells similar to endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus, are found outside of the uterus. These misplaced cells, known as lesions, grow and bleed each month in response to hormonal changes, just like the endometrium does during the normal menstrual cycle. This results in inflammation, causing scar tissue and adhesions, which are bands of fibrous tissue that stick organs together. Endometriosis lesions are most common inside and on the ovaries where they're known as chocolate cysts. On the fallopian tubes, on and behind the lower part of the uterus, on the uterosacral ligaments, which are the bands of tissue holding the uterus in place, on the bowel and bladder, and on the lining of the pelvis, called the peritoneum. In rare cases, endometriosis can be found outside of the pelvic cavity. Why some women develop endometriosis and others don't isn't clear. It is likely that certain genes may predispose some women to develop the disease. Endometriosis is not contagious and it is not sexually transmitted. Diagnosing endometriosis can be difficult because it is often mistaken for other conditions with similar symptoms. A combination of a pelvic examination and a list of symptoms can help your gynecologist reach a diagnosis. Talk clearly and frankly about your symptoms, how often you have them and how bad they are. A diagnosis may also require an ultrasound or an MRI scan, but even this equipment will not likely show smaller endometriotic lesions. A conclusive diagnosis may require a laparoscopy. This is a minor surgical procedure where small incisions are made in the abdomen to insert a laparoscope, a long tubular instrument with a light at the end that allows the surgeon to see endometriotic lesions. There is no known cure for endometriosis, but there are treatments which can help relieve your symptoms and improve your quality of life. The trick is to find the right solution for you. This means talking with your doctor about your symptoms, how they affect your daily life, and discussing whether you want to have children now or in the future. Let's take a look at the treatments currently available. Surgery is the most invasive treatment, but it offers an opportunity for endometriotic lesions to be cut out at the same time as the diagnostic laparoscopy. The success of the surgery will depend on the surgeon. Find a specialist with experience in laparoscopic excision. Hormonal therapy is used to suppress the menstrual period to prevent the monthly bleeding. There are several types of medications that act by shrinking the lining of the uterus and the endometriotic lesions. The oral contraceptive pill is often used as a first treatment, especially in younger women. You can take the pill as you would for contraception, or you can take it continuously for three or more months at a time. Gonadotrophin-releasing hormone analogues, also known as GnRH analogues, can be injected monthly or taken daily by a nasal spray. This treatment is typically prescribed for up to six months and creates a temporary medical menopause. Progestins are synthetic hormones similar to naturally occurring progesterone. They are available in the form of daily tablets, weekly or monthly injections, and an intrauterine device. You may need to try more than one type of treatment before you find the one that works best for you and has the least side effects. Over-the-counter and prescription painkillers help by blocking receptors on the nerve endings around the lesions. If you use painkillers, make sure to take only the recommended amount under close monitoring by your doctor. Taking more can risk gastrointestinal problems and painkiller addiction. Endometriosis affects 1 in 10 women during the prime of life. You can fight endometriosis. Don't accept pain as normal. If you cannot go to school or work or you struggle to carry out day-to-day -day activities, talk frankly with your doctor about your symptoms and ask for a referral to a specialist in endometriosis. Accept that your treatment may change or have to be adjusted depending on how you respond to it. Look after yourself mentally and physically. Eat well, get regular exercise and get enough rest. 
Right now, research is taking place to improve your treatment options and endometriosis organizations around the world are ready to provide help and support. You can find them at endometriosis.org support.